Hey, hey, you remember those two videos that I made? They got a lot of views. I don't know why, but yeah, so we're gonna, I'm gonna make a part three. This is probably gonna be the last part because I don't have any more stuff to put in these videos. But if I do find more stuff, then I'll, I'll talk about it in another one. But basically, Obscure FNAF Merge Part 3, no, nothing unreleased. Everything in this video, you can have it. And that's cool. So, today we're going to be collabing with, with Tomino, a YouTuber man who I found on the street. And, yeah. Uh, hi everybody, I'm Tomino. You can go check out my channel. It's not that big yet. It probably will never get that big yet. But I'm very happy to be here and look at some very ugly FNAF merch. Yes, it is. It's gonna be horrend uh, horrific. But yes, this is gonna be cool. This is cool. This is a cool video, I think. Okay, so let's start off with this beautiful Freddy piggy bank. So this was made by anonymous company, and it just showed up one day, and people have just accepted its existence, and I don't think we should have. Yeah, I don't love it. At least I didn't give him upper tooth though. Yeah, but the inside of his the inside of his mouth. I get. I guess the inside of Freddy's mouth is brown, but it looks right. off. It does look really off. I like his eyes though. He's got some very piercing blue eyes. Ooh, they're they're right. too small. They are a little small. It looks like, like the just, it looks like yeah. the it looks like the Funko action figure, but like they melted him. It does. It kind of looks like it, he was Chocolate Bonnie before Chocolate Bonnie was. Melted chocolate bunny. Yeah, I would, I would have. Yeah. I, he looks edible. He does look very edible. I mean, he looks very fragile. I feel like you could like toss him off your desk. I've and seen smash in a million pieces. I've seen Amazon listings where people just got him and he's just shattered into pieces. Mhm. Mm I've seen pictures of the box and he's like missing an ear. Yeah. Um. I. I mean. I. I would feel bad, but those are the people who bought this, so I can't really feel. Bad. They don't have taste anyway. They don't have taste. If you buy that, then. Why would you get? Why? Wrong. Why would you take this man into your home? He looks like he. He looks like he's. He just doesn't look happy. He looks cursed. There's something wrong with him. Yeah. Yeah. There's definitely yeah. something wrong when, with this man. When I'm cremated, if I do get cremated, I want my ashes put in that thing. That's a good. Like that's a. Up. That is a great idea. I think I might put my mm -hmm. ashes in a. Right. My ash- I want my ashes inside of a Sonic the Hedgehog piggy bank, though. Oh, yeah. You can have Sonic, I'll have the Freddy- the cursed Freddy piggy bank. Yes. Alright, so... You remember good stuff? Remember that company that was great? Um, they made those cheap carnival Fred FNAF plushies that we- we all love them? Yeah, so... They made blacklight plushies when Funko did theirs, and... Oh boy, are they good. I mean... What is Obviously, there even? Look at them. They're, they're just basically Sanchi, right? What, I mean, what is there to say? Tell apart. What is there to say? Right? They're just I like. So, I, I, so the, great. Like I like how they did the black light aesthetic, but then they didn't change the eyes. Mhm. Mm and I love how they all have just they. It's like they picked the worst color combinations yeah. that they could have. Like I love the blue and the purple, but orange and green and purple just doesn't mix well. And I like how the cupcake's head is caved in. I think that's a nice touch. To sh and he also has his eyes bulging out like he's brain dead. They made him realistic. They made the cupcake a little, like, saggy. Yeah. Which, yeah. I mean, it's that was definitely their plan. Guys, it's realistic. It's realistic. That's 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 how it works. And the thing is, Good Stuff never made a normal cupcake. They didn't? No. That's this is their cool. only cupcake. Well, I mean... Yeah... I don't to say about the, it. I like how the I like how the blue foxy's eye patch is the right size, but then the pink foxy they cut the they cut the eye patch too small. Mm -hmm. I love that. Okay, I love how they just cannot make a plushie look good. Like the foxy mold and the foxy like design is fine, but why does Freddy look like that? Was there any executive decision to make him look good, or did they just like smash his face in on purpose? They probably just cut up, but just bought like this bought like a Funko plushie. Then they cut it up, and then they took, and then they copied the, and then they hand cut the freaking stitch pattern, and then they just mass produced it. It's like they just directly copied Funko's stitch pattern, but then they couldn't produce it right, so then they just said, "This is fine." Mm -hmm. To be fair, they, thought, yeah, they're not trying to sell these as actual plushies. These are just like cheap carnival toys. 
True. I mean, I don't, do they? Do you have a good stuff flushy? Do you have any of them? I don't have any. I have the good stuff Chica and I and the big head freaking weird looking Bonnie that I got at Dave and Buster's one year because I felt like it. Is okay. Is the material good or is it like the, mat- the, mat- the, mat- the material is actually fine. But okay, the eyes, the thing. eyes are made out of this crappy hard plastic, and they they're just awful. And like they also, honestly though, I think the face on Good Stuff's Chica does look better. But whatever, let's move on to the next thing. Hey, here's Brain Dead. Here's Brain Dead Cupcake. I love this man. I I honestly kind of want to buy him. Yeah, we were talking about him earlier, and we both kind of agreed that he's just he's something else. He's beautiful. He is beautiful. He is a mm-hmm. he is a work of art. Who whoever yeah. whoever designed this plushie, whoever came up with that color scheme, whoever whoever decided to mass produce this one, they need a promotion. Look how look, I like how his eyes are small and far apart. I think it really adds to the aesthetic, and also the fact that the top of his head is completely just caved in more so than the purple one from earlier uh, and i love i love that they didn't even measure it right they didn't even think about the fact that the candle if they stuff it it's gonna just sink into his head and make him look all sorts of weird but and but my favorite part is definitely that the eyes are looking in two different directions it just gives him so much personality so much personality yeah yeah and i just i just really love how Good stuff. Also, decide. I just realized something. Good stuff didn't make any Chicas or Bonnies to fix what Funko's mistake was. No, they still made just Freddy Foxes and Cupcakes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're not even trying to keep their hands clean. Of like not copying. No, they're just they're just they don't care. They just want the cash money. So mm-hmm. here we got this blue boy. Um, he looks a little bit like Cookie Monster, but if Cookie Monster um really fell off and became a meth addict. Yeah, he's Cookie Monster. Cookie Monster made a lot of different life decisions. Yeah, and um, I like how the tag is just is literally just a, just the cover for FNAF One. Mhm. Oh yeah, you're right. I mean, he doesn't look horrible though. He's not as bad as like the smashed in the face Freddy's from the Black Light Wave. He is looks he a black light. He... Yeah, he is a black light. Okay, so he's a good black light, or not a good black light. He's a better black light. Yeah, I think his oh, yeah. colors look fine. And he just, he just kind of looks like a defect, like, with his pattern, he just kind of looks like a defective Funko plushie. Mm-hmm. Which is- like you'd find him in the back of their headquarters. Yeah, you'd find him in the, no, you'd find him in the freaking depths of the factory all the way below in the, in hell. Because they mm-hmm. freaking just put it into the incinerator. I imagine Funko has like a vault down there, just under their big headquarters where they just have all the defects, like that Chico with black eyes, and they have him down there too. Yeah, they have all of the all of the disgusting creatures. Here's more orange cupcakes. Here's an army of smaller ones. Hey, they're not sunken in. Those are new ones. Those haven't set for ten minutes and really caved in yet. Yeah, they're they're brand new, right right off the conveyor belt, and then they went, they teleported to somebody's house, and now they're haunting them. God, that'd be terrifying. Do, okay, do we know if these work under a blacklight like Funko's do? Because I know Funko probably took some time to figure out the colors, because so they actually work under a blacklight. Do we know if these do? I do honestly the doubt they were tested, just mm-hmm. because of Good Stuff's track record. I doubt they really cared that it would work under a blacklight. Yeah. That was probably, like, all the way down on their priority list. Like, they just wanted to... Funny colors, yay. They just wanted to trick uh, little kids into thinking they're actual Funko plushies. Yeah, they wanted um, people to go to the arcade and go, Hey, look, it's Blacklight Freddy Fazbear. I love Freddy Fazbear. I'm gonna go win that with my tickets. Yeah, I'm not seeing any... Wait, this, I mean... Oh, God. They made jumbo ones. I just looked up the Blacklight Good Stuff plushies. They're a huge one. Yeah. Oh, that's a cute Funtime Foxy action figure. Yeah, so Funko made a Funtime Foxy action figure. Everybody knows about it. It was in Wave 2. But little do people know, it was actually re-released with a new box and a different sticker on it. And none of the other Wave t- none of the other Wave 2 figures were re-released. Okay, can I say something that's kind of probably a controversial statement? This is one of my favorite action figures. I actually really like it. I wish it never existed. They should have made Nightmare Fredbear. Oh yeah, they should have made Nightmare Fredbear. I mean, like, they, why didn't they make a toy wave yet? 
Like, I don't care about Security Breach. It sucked anyway. The wave, at least. They Just give us the toy and I'm trying They to should, it. yeah, um... I'm honestly, with my opinion for this figure, I do I don't think the figure is awful. I think it's just the fact that the figure exists that makes me angry. Like what what it could have mm. been replaced with, but yeah, yeah, this figure you can actually buy this on eBay. It's only worth like about twenty bucks or maybe usually goes for less than that. Actually, it's a very cheap figure. You can find it for dirt cheap. So yeah, if you want a Funtime Foxy action figure from Wave Two, go at it. You know.